They're definitely trying to limit the XP potential from Game of Gladiators. They went in for the Thomas and the Tarizla, but the CC is open. And now, Chip, mm. now in the building for the side of BTK, and there's the Roger we've been talking about. All right, so you pick Louis, we're going to get the Chip, and we haven't really gotten to see the Chip in NACT that much just yet, at least not successfully. BTK really throwing a wild card in here. I mean, a Chip, and especially in a five-man setting, the familiar Mart is getting picked up there for that last uh, that last pickup for best player. But Chip, the one thing that I have seen when it comes to like these group plays is especially in the mid to late game, especially in the early, if he catches you, you're basically caught by the entire team. You throw down those portals, the entire team comes out, destroys you, gets back in their lane like nothing happened. And this is gonna be something that can help match them against the diversion of Hoon on the Lu Yi. I hope the cameraman can keep up with all this mobility on the board. <laughs> There's a lot of teleports with the Valentina, with the Lu Yi, but then the chip to even rotate more around the map for BTK something. Gaming Gladiator is gonna have to watch out for it, but keep in mind, GG. Able to take game number one, 14 minute finish. Bit on the hook, BTK trapped inside of GG's trap for game number one. But this is their chance to turn this around and even out the series. All right, so let's jump into it right now. GG leading this best of seven by one. BTK looking for the comeback to even things out. Yeah, and this is where it matters. You're down one game. Can you bring it up to a tie? Can you break that momentum? Yeah, breaking the momentum is key to the world. They will show a little bit of that slogan for the NACT spring season. But Moba Zane, yet again, game number two, similar to game number one. Ran that Fredrin has a lot of crowd control he's going to have to watch out for. Best player, again, on the Martis, needing to find a way to pave the early game. Oh, Shark actually may be caught here in the early game. Takes a stun, able to flicker himself. To say, I have to stop uh, like uh, guessing Shark here if he's going to get caught. I think there's, you know, with picking up the chip, right? Cold World gets onto that, and we have the Edith down in the EXP lane, and I'm wondering how that's gonna favor BTK. We know if White Chicken gets the advantage, it could be trouble. One thing about the Edith is it can close the distance a bit and maybe stop that kiting, but it's definitely kind of a mechanical matchup and could be troublesome if Milos falls behind. Well, I feel like both sides are gonna pressure the side lanes, especially with having the Valentina for the diversion, having the Lu Yi on the side of the game and Gladiators. You're gonna have to expect the unexpected for today's game. A couple of those ends along the board, or the quantum charges, or the quantum charges, or just four, four DHAs, so far, we talked about availability. Not only the ultimate, but also with the battle of and emblems. Now, speaking of off lanes too, it's crazy how they picked the Roger into the Harris, right? And it's like, I mean, he must feel confident on, but we already said Basic needs a good matchup. Is this going to be a good matchup for him? I mean, and that's kind of the thing. In the super early game, Roger can put a lot of pressure, but you need to send somebody there because eventually that Herrick is going to come up. He's going to be able to bully his way back. He's going to be a menace when it comes to these team fights, and he's, he, this is just one of those win conditions that we were able to talk about earlier. Yeah, game number one. Oh, wait a second. The play on the bot side. Chicken making the most out of the mobility from CC, able to get out of there but Moba Zane now going to pull the aggro of this turtle. Game number one, they were able to claim the first one, but after that, they lost all the objectives. Is this going to be the turnaround? Yeah, best player does get his purple buff. This the turtle might be going over. Moba Zane able to secure it before the gaming gladiators come in. They do force back in. Gladiators, best player gets caught and taunted. Mark Cutie finds and secures a kill. A good play from BTK, able to claim the first objective. Moba Zane getting off that turtle. Mark Cutie. Picking up his kill with the Valentina. All right, so they get a turtle, they get a kill, they get a very good start right now. And just with that first gank down on the EXP lane, I was a little worried because it looked reminiscent of last time, trying to grab the bait and not being able to get it. But now BTK starting off well. I mean, this is one of the successful points. Oh, we do have a diversion coming in. Mark Cutie able to see it, so they don't go in with it. But one of the, the, the pressure points we were talking about, oh, we do have the Zaman Force laid down. Immune onto Zia, putting on a damage best player. Oh. Finds the decimation. Basic is down. Coldwell running for the hill. Gets caught on the flank by Shark. Requiem is out there. The, the, the Hoon laying down the damage, but not able to secure kill number two. Basic walks right into the Zaman's force and catches a face full of decimation. And then the Violent Requiem just to stop Cold World in his tracks. Gaming Gladiators never lets up. I would say a little bit of bait from Z as well. He, he, he popped that Purify to be able to get out of there. He kind of expected that and his team was there to help him get that kill. And now you're looking at it one to one on the scoreboard. Both sides still having an even advantage. Oh man, great read by Fly Chicken here. Just to narrow, not even 
to dodge, but just get just far enough out of reach. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a great job at it. I mean, all you can tell, it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, but you can just <laughs> never catch him. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to expect the unexpected. Like I said, the mobility is key. The purifies from both sides to be able to get out of the crowd controls. Mm. Both of these drafts can definitely take the advantage for these objectives, but it's going to be boiling down to execution. Ten seconds until the next turtle spawns in. So far, BTK able to claim the first one. Diversion play, though, into the mid lane. Basic. It's caught with a flicker again. Popped up. Damages out. Hoon finds a kill there. Zia running away. BTK on the chase. And there goes the damage. Corel able to pick up that kill there. Hoon getting to the safety of his tower. Okay, it's still a bloodbath just like last game, but this time BTK getting the better of the gold still so close. Yeah, the rotation to the top side. The Zombie Force dropping down the defense from BTK. Hoon, though, able to take down basic Corel gets a response back though three to two on the scoreboard and look at Moba Zane on that Fredra not afraid to try and deny some of the farm from Gaming Gladiators one of the things he kind of profits on as the jungler and so, uh, for BTK you are going to see Wind Talker picked up over there from basic as well getting ready to have those enhanced basic attacks on this Roger Roger who we've seen one of the few heroes to get a savage this NSC team spring season most definitely now we got to take a look right we got to see Again, the gold lead, it's unlike last time where GG, they were getting some extra kills. They were steadily climbing ahead. BTK not really able to push completely forward just yet. <laughs> a little bit of a hello there from best player and a MOBA Zane. Uh, no kills. Uh, I mean, we're a little, I don't want to say slow down. They're kind of baiting out, looking for an opportunity. See, Star comes in here, Cold World. On, he knows. <laughs> yeah, it's neck and neck right now, but something definitely standing out is Zia ahead Ooh. in the gold lane up against Basic right now, up by a thousand. Need to be careful, but look at the top side. A little uncontested. Basic knowing he can't step there to defend, and this is going to be GG claiming the first turret of the game. Ooh, from the flank, Cold World. Looking Looking for an opportunity here, looking for an angle. Domin Force laid out, Cold World taking a heap of damage. Here comes the rest oh. of BTK, looking to pay them back. Hoon in trouble, gets taken out by Mielo, and they are unable to return the favor. All right, they show up, they pull up, they skirt out, they find a kill. They may lose that bottom tower, though. Could oh, be a problem, but they're looking sure. for another one, deleted. Ooh, able to profit right there, and now, May be able to take the search, just needs to proxy those oh, minions. Zia, yeah. gonna have to go back. Zane, not gonna check the bush. He's just worried about the objectives. Cool, calm, and collective. BTK, even in out the playing field. Yeah, I mean, it was an even game right now. We're gonna start. Oh, actually, that's where I able to kind of uh, force uh, the, down these minions so you're not going to be able to get a tower just yet yeah and we got to see that with best player even in game number one he was rotating around and taking a lot of the turrets off the board another diversion play though something that gaming gladiators likes to focus on to catch btk off guard but not able to find a member and even if it's not to catch him off guard what it does there is it gives them a quick position over this turtle when all oh the purify is out shark is in chase he finds the mark mark cutie down over zane able to repay the favor to shark now immune out fly chicken trying to get away cc just so slippery and now bdk gonna take control of the turtle pit a turnaround against game and gladiators mark cutie falling short right there but btk still working in their favor a turret does drop as well so with gold being so even right now, we're gonna start creeping into the mid game. How do late games match up? How does this really match up? No one's got a huge lead, Wheezy. Yeah, and that's where it's gonna kind of boil down to the execution for both sides. Who can get that diversion off first? Ooh, they come in now. Basic does find a kill on the fly chicken, but he's getting chased by four members of the gaming gladiators. He is gonna be able to find him escape and gaming gladiators. Man, right now this game seven to three, falling a little behind. Basic finally showing up, putting a kill on the map. He's had a troublesome game and a half. Maybe he can finally start pulling something together here. Yeah, BTK now trying to put some pressure in the mid lane. Both sides still holding on to their mid turret so far. One turtle for BTK, two turtles for Gaming Gladiators, two turrets for them as well, which means they still have the slightest advantage, but they're down in kills. Yeah, I mean, but right now, when it comes to kind of the macro on the board, you've got two towers down on BTK's side. So B Gaming Gladiators still 
comfortable. They're not worried about the kills. They're just worried about the pressure on the map. And this, as you were talking about, that late game, what kind of answers do they have in that late game? Because unlike the first game, they don't have a lot of pressure in the early statures here. And this is something we see in this matchup all the time between BTK and GG. Even if BTK has that kill lead, they seem to not be able to keep up in overall goal. GG still hunting, oh. looking for something. And just like that, Fly Chicken gets caught by BTK, but he's gonna be able to get away basic, looking for an opportunity, looking for the angle, finds the kill onto Fly Chicken. The rest of Bloodthirsty Kings turning their tails on to GG, who return some suppressive fire and are gonna be able to find themselves an escape. Unfortunate for Fried Chicken, I really wanted to say the statement, skated out of there, but not able to pull it off. You got to see Basic on his tail to be able to get that kill, finding his second kill of this game, a little bit better of a start compared to game number one. All right, so now the goal lead has finally gotten ahead. It took a little bit. They've been standing out of sense, but still, it's still dropping down. GG is just so good at cleaning up the map and keeping the gold in there. First Lord up, and nobody feels extremely ahead. Yeah, now you have a, a four members of BTK. They're a little bit of a bait out for this Lord. GG looking for an opportunity. Interestingly enough, we have Chip on the outside trying to push the flank. Uh, so you're not gonna have all those portals out ready uh, when it comes to this objective. GG now turning their tail uh, back to this Lord. Yeah, trying to find the advantage, look for the diversion play, not able to find it, but gathering some information against BTK. And now, look at Milo on the bot side, just giving that vision, doesn't want to allow them to take this objective with ease. They do have a diversion on their side as well, especially with that Valentina that can profit. But so far, profiting GG oh, oh, slightly with the advantage. Yeah. Gonna get Hold caught, up. get stunned out. Here comes the rest of BTK. Immune out. Zia looking for a tis, not gonna be able to find an escape. The version is out. In comes a best player looking for a kill. He's got three members of BTK surrounding him. Here oh. come reinforcements, but BTK finds themselves a kill. Shark down the half health. He's gonna have to flicker himself into the tower. That is two down for GG. Did, did you see the yo the, the ultimate from CC stopped basic in his tracks? He went for the like and pounce and got caught right before he could connect. That could have went so much differently, but now BTK still possibly gonna be able to take this Lord. Yeah, gonna give him the advantage. Now gonna be able to claim this objective, not losing a member in that engagement, but taking some away from Gaming Gladiators. Now in control of this game, 11 minutes in. Last game, number one, we got to see GG close it out the 14 minute finish, but it doesn't look like this is gonna be the same story. Yeah, I mean, you got about a 3K gold lead for BTK right now. They've tied up the towers. They now are starting to get objectives. And this is where gaming gladiators should be worried. Yeah, yeah. definitely should be worried. I would say I'm kind of paying close attention to fried chicken. Mm. Zero, two, zero, but the mid lane. I do like to see Shark, he is able to find that pop-up, realizes it's not the target he wants, immediately backs up. Most definitely now BTK with control over the map, with a nice gold lead. Cold World, maybe gonna try to pull up on best player just like they did Zia earlier. Oh, best player's not able to stop this tower from going down. Cold World comes in, portal is out. The rest of BTK comes in, but best player says, eat my dust, he's looking for an escape, getting caught. for basic. Okay, so BTK pulling on the same strings that GG used last game, catching them off one by one, teleporting around the map. Man, just behind us, the audience is going wild. They're even more hyped than we are in the casters. So you gotta love to see it. But yeah, great play from the side of BTK, making the most out of the mobility, but now looking at a possible push through the mid lane. Yeah, Whoa. Common Force laid down. Mobazan in the midst of the fight. Zia's gonna go ahead and gas himself to safety. And down goes another tower. But Gaming Gladiator's not looking to let it go in kind. Yeah, able to take down two members of BTK, though. Gaming Gladiators still trying to find the resolve. As we do take a little bit of a look at that replay for that push in the tier two turret. The Zama Force dropping down, forcing Zia back into the base. But now the counterplay from Gaming Gladiators. BTK. We talked about it, right? Control those primitive urges Ooh. and maybe a chance for GG to turn this around. Yeah, one moment brings GG back into the game here, taking down these towers. I don't think they'll be able to finish anything, but they will be able to really bring back that gold. Oh man, and we were just talking about this. It's just those little mistakes is all that GG needs to kind of almost tie up the towers now. It's five towers to four right now. BTK was in a very secure lead. Now a little over 2K gold lead for them. Yeah, you are going to look at 
the side of Gaming Gladiators. Basic falling behind to Zia. He's still up on this Heritage. We wanted to see how it kind of played into the gold lane, especially up against the Roger. But nonetheless, both sides still fighting it out. You are looking at BTK stripped down almost to their inhibitors, but the same story uh, on the other side of the table. So this is, again, a possible another 50-50. But game number one, we saw BTK get a little too aggressive, and that's when GG started to profit. You know, with the amount of the divergence, with the amount of the teleports from Chip, the portals, everything, vision is key in this game. Depending on when you want to poke your face into these lanes to take these minions is going to be crucial as we move forward into this because that's going to be who knows where to make the play happen. Yeah, you are going to see the Lord spawn in GG. Going to go ahead and pull the aggro, trying to force out the Bloodthirsty King, spotting out Milo, Shark with the Spatial Migration, and now the play for the objective. Yeah, BTK comes here in kind. GG doing a good job baiting out and zoning out the rest of BTK. Lord down to a third of health. Cold World, Fly Chicken. We have a concealed play coming out there. Now forcing their way into BTK's jungle. Mobus ain't caught between five members. Appraiser's Rare finds best player. Zia able to answer back with two kills of his own. Basic finds Hoon. Shark is down. Cold World is down. We doubted him. I was wondering if he was going to get it together, but Basic has now shaken the stadium. Doing it well. Possibly going to try to close this out. Yeah, definitely going to close it out. Base Crystal, only thing to go through with a couple of minions, but can he do it? Yeah, they, you can see that the spawning timers coming in here now, trying to put it. Can they attack fast enough? 50%. Nobody else is out there. This is a tie game, folks. The 50-50. The 50-50, the coin flip. The story continues in the HyperX Arena. For everybody watching, we know it's not gonna be a sweep. Man, and let's...